What's up, y'all? This is Osiris back with another reaction, y'all, from the Fat Man's podcast. I got another reaction for y'all. But before we get in this reaction, y'all, please hit that like button and subscribe button. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribers by the end of this month. If that, we'll do it next month. I'm trying to hit 200 subscribers by in this year. So, yeah, come on, y'all. Let's do it. So, we got a reaction. The ne reaction name is Mike Tyson Scaring Everyone Part 2. I already did part one. That's about to come out. Well, they're both about to come out at the same time. Or should I do it? I don't know yet. Yeah, I'll figure that out. But yeah, we're gonna do part. We're gonna do part two, and then let's get into it, y'all. But I like my text. He say what the hell he wanted to say. He don't. He he don't. He has no censor. He say what the hell. He, I like his podcast. All that. Times my mind plays tricks on me. My mind tells me I'm a bitch. You think you're flying and you walk around a bad man in the plant, why don't you fight that motherfucker? But why don't you just go right there and spit in his face? That guy right there. That's my mind fucks with me, nigga. Wow! Wow! You still got fire, man. Whoa! Why? And I'm saying, why are you fucking with me? Leave me alone. I don't want to fuck with these people. Thank you, Mike. We won't get to your president. Damn, Mike Tyson, he about to, he's about to go out. Look like he about to, you ready to fight somebody. But he was a great man. You know what else? Look, <laughs> only thing I didn't disagree, he never said he didn't like confrontation. No, he, he didn't was like not. confrontation. That surprised you, man. Yeah, and I'm great different. competitor. And, I, and I'm different. I go right for your throat. Oh, I know that. I just go right for your Not only in fighting, but just in life, I just go right for your throat. Especially if it's, it's a point where you violated somebody else's feelings or mine. Mm -hmm. So when you told the story, for example, about being in Miami and kicking Don King in the head and having a brick of cocaine, that seems crazy to me. Well, that's what it was. Can you describe, <laughs> uh, Mike, what your... He, tried, he tried to catch Mike Tyson, uh, Mike Tyson cut up. Hey, yeah, I did it. And? Your cocaine addiction was like? No, you can read about it in the book, though. Get that book, get them books, get them books, get them books, man. Get the books. You try to sell every book. Is there anything that was embarrassing to you, or is well, it pre something yeah, you pretty much all, pretty much a, a great deal of the book was, but um, that was the book. I, he wanted the truth. I gave him the truth. What would you describe as the happiest time in your life, Mike? Um, I don't remember. <laughs> Damn. You want to know anything yeah. about him? You ask me. If I ever hear you, if I ever see you go next to my father again, you have a problem. Mm. And then I realized um, not to ever talk to somebody. But I have um, sh um, proceeding asking me to shake my hand. Try to shake my hand right now. Let's try to do it. Go through the proceeding. Go through the proceeding. Ooh. Go through the proceeding. No, it's been like this. Go like this. Hey, congratulations. Good fight. Yeah. Oh, I see. You, you asked me no. Yeah. Right. Yeah. He's scared. And um, I think I won't, I won't do it one more time. That was the beginning of that whole intimidating thing. I was a little kid and I realized. You don't talk. Don't talk to them. You, um, just look at them like. He's scared. He was scared, boy. You want to kill them. Do you ever worry that you're being used for how open you can be about the things you've done in your life? I don't know. You don't want to give. Um, I'm doing the interview. You tell me. <laughs> you're right. That's what I'm asking, because that's kind I, of a dilemma sometimes when dealing no, with somebody is how much is asking and how much is using. I don't know. Everyone knows me. Like I said before, I'm pretty transparent and stuff, so that's true. I figure everyone see who I am anyway. I don't look at the world as if I'm a block wall and no one can see through me. You got a point. But it feels like this particular process, this feels a little bit uncomfortable and that we're poking at you for book sales and that we're poking and poking, asking you questions. I, I, don't, think, I, don't, I don't think you're poking at me. Do you feel that you're poking at me? No, yeah, well, a little well, you bit. Said I feel it, yeah. like this, this whole process is not something, you've done it for so long that it's something that's less than enjoyable to you. The idea that we would sit here and in order to sell the book, we continue to ask you questions that you may or may not want to answer. I don't know, I'm asking you everything you tell me. Everything you say, I'm answering them. I'm not avoiding any of the questions. Do you figure that I'm avoiding anything, sir? No, no, not at all. I, I, but, I, but I'm not sure that you're enjoying it either. I dare you talk to me like that. You should. You well, I mean, what he put? I mean, I understand that, but like, he just—that's how he is. Like, y'all can't really like, fault him for that. He a fighter. He don't, you know, all that talking and everything. He—he he want to get down to business. You know what I mean? 
You should get up and kneel to me now, and I'll spare you tonight at the 28th. <laughs> Damn. I'd also say, you come in and you come ready. You understand? Because I'm going to come uh, ready. You come ready. Okay. Okay, you know that. I don't know you why you ready. talk to me like that when you know I'll kill you for it. Damn. <laughs> That's what I like about you, Mike. You talk tough. Mike Tyson is Mike Tyson. He's a, he's a I don't little talk kid, to him. You know what I mean? And um, he's going to be like that. I don't want to bring myself down to his level. So I don't really even want to cherish that thought. I'm going to go in there and we're going to fight. And that's the bottom line. Oh, man. I can't wait till the 28th. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. Yeah. Can you say something, you? Hey. You, you know something? I'm not even going to um, dignify that with a hand. So you know why I'm not dignify that with a hand? So because I'm going to bring myself down to your level. There's something you can't buy in that class. And you don't got none of that. You're sweet. I'm gonna make sure you kiss me good with those big lips. <laughs> you happy now? Happy? You happy? Happier? Well, I'm, I'm cool. You know, I'm not no perpetual happy guy. I'm not happy um, 24 hours a day, every second of the moment I'm happy. Hee hee ha ha. But um, I'm cool. I'm, you know. Can be learned in talking to some of the people he fought. Look at, the, look at here. Look at here. Just, Just laughing at him. Damn. Yeah. He's nearly on Samsonite cable. No, Sam, Sam. Yeah, get, yeah, Mike, he's about to get out of boy. Turn this down, this is a little too loud. <laughs> He just, he just bitch, uh, Dana, Dana White. Yeah, he said, get up, get up, bitch. Damn. All right, y'all, what y'all think about the video, y'all? Y'all put up in the comments. That's the end of reaction, y'all. Mike Tyson is a savage, boy. He don't care. He would really, damn. So get up, bitch. He was that dude, boy. He is transparent, though. But all right, y'all, but this end of the video, please hit that like button and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 50 subscribe by end of this month. If not, we'll do it next week. It will do it next month. And I'm trying to hit two, 200 subscribers by the end of this year. So, yeah, let's do it, y'all. And I was Osiris is out. And I'll see you guys on the next one from the Fat Man's Podcast. Thank you.